I don't know where to begin. One thing I can say is, what, so when I when I escaped Iran and went to Turkey and went to UN back in the time when UN actually was a United Nation doing its job, uh, I ended up getting my approval, asylum approval on an I-95 visa, uh, which used to be a visa you would get when you proved who you are, where you come from, what your problem is, and your life is in danger, genuinely all that stuff. But I remember I was under age of 18 and I was told because I don't have parents with me and I don't have a guardian in the United States of America. I have to wait until day after my tea birthday and then my flight to the United States of America will be issued. And when I asked back then, uh, what if somebody sponsors me? And they're like, there is no such a thing of sponsoring you. They can sponsor you, but you need a guardian because you're underage and the United States of America does not allow underage kids to just come in. I cannot believe this was the same United States of America I came 21 years ago. This wasn't 60, 70, 80 years ago. This was literally 21 years ago when I came to US. And now I'm hearing from you that it doesn't matter if you're underage and no guardian and, and, um, Give, I mean, some cartel member from anywhere can just snatch you. I again, I I don't really know where what where to start, but I I want to ask you this, Aaron. So, and of course, we remove you from the formula, right? We don't try to fix the formula. We remove the person who cut the issues and is doing something about it, speaking out about it we remove him so he cannot later tell people eight turn to nine to ninety to two hundred to four thousand but um these kids are not american born or american citizens correct these are uh, non-american yeah all of them and by the way and that's the important part too because you've seen the demographics when it comes to these people crossing the border first year first maybe half a year or so basically central americans mexicans is all it was and now you see they're coming from africa central asia all over the world right the population of these kids stay the same these are primarily guatemalans and then el salvadorans and then hondurans and that so you this is not family unification because if this is family unification you would see Africans trying to get with their African parents and South Americans trying to get with South American parents. It's not. These, these kids are coming from Central America. Okay. The, the, and, and that's the thing. I, I just want to add this. I always say <clears throat> one of the sentences, my, I think the second favorite sentence of the movie Sound of Freedom is uh, when Jim Caviezel says in his character says, um, God's children are for sale. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not asking because it matters if they're American versus Iranian versus Mexican. It's the reason I'm asking is I want the left who are at the border for a photo op in full white crying. What am I, why am I even beating him on the bush? AOC, so worried about these children being separated from their families. I want to know where is she at when it comes to these kids being handed over on their sponsorship to these criminals, ruthless criminals. I, I think she ran out of tears for that for a while. But putting my sarcasm aside, how much of this information, Erin, has been heard by our Congress and how much or how many of them have even blinked, flinched, or tried to do anything about it, to the best of your knowledge? Okay, so first and foremost, they know <laughs> this is they are aware of the problem, they're aware of the data, they know, but now I'll also say this well too. They're not like this, they're not the, a clairvoyant body that knows all things. And they look at the world through their lens. So these are legislative people looking at the executive. They don't understand the executive, they understand legislative. So I'll give them that part where it's like, all right, you guys don't understand how power works. You could just defund the thing and show you what power is, but they keep funding this program. I'm not going to go down that road too much. However, no, they know. And I will further that by saying um, there was that rule change that when they tried pushing through back in what was October to December of 2023, where HHS tried to solidify their own laws, their own policies and memos that they created into law. And those policies, those memos, those were the conditions that led to the, the entire environment of all this trafficking. 
If those things get fixed, it'd be I would say it's a lot harder. I, I can get in that further, but they try to solidify their own laws, their own policies into law. I'm sorry. And we pushed back on that. And we were like, no, you are not doing that, actually. And so we get as many people as we could, and we get all these comments on this website to like slow it down, stop it, blah, blah, blah. The GOP Senate, uh, so this is actually only, I think, 37 or 38 senators, but led by Chuck Grassley, they responded to that rule change with a letter, and they were like, no, 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 no. Like, the, you, there's a problem with this program. We already acknowledge that. And you can't do this rule change. And if you try to push it through, we're going to get involved and do an oversight on this thing. Cool. Well done. Kudos. It's like, all right, there you go, guys. Democrats responded as well to that letter. And I think it was Dick Durbin that led this one. And they gave kudos. They're like, hey, guys, good job. Keep up the good work. So again, they're aware. Um, it's, it's this, They can't claim ignorance. This is a beyond. They don't care. There's something to this thing where it's like, I don't know how to say it because you know, these are kids. It's like, what the hell's your problem? Like this is, this is very, very simple to solve and yet they're not doing it. So I, I can't answer that question entirely because again, I, they know and it's, and they, there's no way they care. So I don't want to make of it anymore.